Hey, this is Rick Casalge, Injury Specialist from ExercisesForInjuries.com. In today's video, I want to go through five hip strengthening exercises for knee pain. And Donnelly's going to go through them and she's going to show you the first one, then I'm going to explain it in detail and show you the other four. That's the first one, it's single leg standing. So Donnelly, so starting from the front, so you're, you're starting, you're standing and then you're going to come onto one leg. Get this leg is slightly bent and then everything else is in a nice straight line. Head is on top of the shoulders, uh, ears in line with the shoulders, in line with the hips. Now she has her hand on the beam here or the wall and that's because we want to eliminate balance. I want her to focus on strengthening the hip. So with the, with the knee bent, we're really working on strengthening that hip, which is what we want. We want to strengthen that hip and a strong hip leads to uh, a decrease in knee pain. Now with this exercise, looking at the sets, reps, time and intensity, sets end up being one, you know, repetitions would be five, time, I would start off with 10 seconds uh, and then progress and, and looking at the intensity, the in intensity ends up being light uh, with this one. You should feel it in the muscles around your knee, but mainly in the muscles around your hip. Now looking at the five exercises I'm going to get you, this one's probably the one that's uh, the least intense. And as we kind of go through the other ones, you'll feel the intensity uh, when it comes to exercises. So moving on to the second one, the second one is single leg squatting. Good, and back up. Great, so going from the starting position, so it's, you know, standing, then you're gonna come, then you're gonna come onto one foot. Uh, she's slightly bent her knee. Now she's gonna bend in the knee and bend in the hip. Coming down to about 45 and then straightening back up. Key things to remember, weight's even on the foot. When she's squatting down, she's bringing the knee forward and having it come over the toe and then having her hip come back. She's not going super deep, we're going about 45 degrees and then coming back up. And with this one, it intensifies the uh, strengthening of the hip. Looking at the sets, reps, time and intensity, sets would be one, repetitions would be five, time would be smooth controlled movement with a quick stop at the end position and the intensity would be kind of on the light side of things. We're targeting the muscles around the hip uh, also, you'll feel it in the muscles around the knee. Now, looking at the third exercise, uh, a single leg hip hinging. Good, and coming back up, great. So from the starting position, standing nice and upright, she's gonna be soft in, in the knee, then she's going to bend through the hips and have the upper body follow. Good, straight line with the head, shoulders and hips. And then when she returns back to the standing position, she's really contracting the glute and secondarily the hamstring. So good. Weights even on the feet, knees soft, bending through that hip. The rest of the body's following a good straight line. When she returns to that standing position, really contracting the glute, and then you'll also feel it in the hamstring. Looking at the sets, reps, time, and intensity. For this one, we're looking at sets of one. Repetitions are five. A time is a smooth controlled movement uh, with, a, with a good contraction at the, at the top or on the way to the top of the end position. And the intensity, it's on the light and moderate side, really targeting the glutes and secondarily the hamstrings. Now moving on to the fourth one. Now we move from standing and we move down to the mat. With this one, you're going into a side plank position. So you're on your form, good, propping yourself up. Good, and then, and then we'll go back down to the starting position. So it's almost like you're starting off like uh, lying on your side. You've got your forearm down. You're gonna tighten the abdominal area. You're gonna lift your hips up, move your body so it's in a straight line from the front position and from the side position and we're really working on the core. So with this one, we're targeting on stabilizing the hip, but we're also kind of targeting that abdominal core area. Good, and back down. Now looking at the sets, reps, time, and intensity, sets end up being one, 
you know, repetitions would be five, time would be a good hold of that end position for five seconds, and the intensity ends up being light to moderate. Good, and you'd go on one side, and then you'd go continue on with the other side. Now moving to the fifth and final exercise, I'll get you to go through the exercise. So we're, do, so we're doing a single leg bridge, yeah. okay? So yeah, you're gonna lie down on your back. Good, you're gonna bridge up, and then you're gonna straighten one of the legs out. Good, perfect. Hold it for a couple seconds and then come back down. So going back to the starting position, you're lying down on your back, knees bent, you're relaxed in the upper body. You're gonna tighten the abdominal area, you're gonna bridge up, so the knees, hips, and shoulders in a straight line. Then you're gonna straighten the leg out. Good, you're gonna hold that for a couple seconds, come back, and then bring the seat down, and then you switch sides. So looking at the sense reps, time and intensity, sets end up being one. You know, repetitions would be three to five on each side, so alternating back and forth. Time is a smooth controlled movement with a good stop at the top position. You know, I would say a, a hold of like three to five seconds in that top position. And the intensity will be, you know, light to moderate. You'll, end up, you'll feel it in your core area, you'll feel it in your glutes, you'll feel it in your hamstrings. Perfect. So there you go, that ends up being five hip strengthening exercises for knee pain. Now if you want some of my other best tips and tricks when it comes to overcoming knee pain, what I recommend you do is click right here. I have a brand new free report called Five Tricks That Fight Knee Pain and Tightness. Just click right here, let me know where to send you that free report and I'll send you that free report right away. Now if you're watching this on a mobile device, tablet or smartphone, head down below in the description and click the first link which will end up being exercisesforinjuries.com forward slash knees. Let me know where to send you that report and he'll send you that report right away. Now if you got benefit from this video, make sure to like this video. If you have a question or comment for me, leave it down below in the comment section. And lastly, hit subscribe in order, in order to get future pain relieving videos. <laughs>